then he's off again. 34-yard carry. Santiago already with 87 yards in six carries. And here's Oliveira. Big hole. And North Dakota's win game is gashing Montana State. And it's a touchdown for Oliveira. Oh, my. Pickup of just a yard on the play. Santiago, seven carries, 88 yards. Play action fake. Studgerud looking for Clive. Georges. He's got him. Georges on his feet. Santiago has carried 12 times today. He's dipped below 100 yards after a couple losses. Here's his 13th yard. Carry the day. It's a big one. Santiago is on the loose. Santiago is running to the end zone for the touchdown. No flags on the play. And John Santiago has done it again. Well, we'll go back and recalculate those yards there, Dan. I mean, this is... <laughs> Same play. It's designed to go see gap. Cuts a big hole there, and he turns the corner, and there's no one there. The defensive back's locked into the receiver, and Santiago's going to use the speed, get around the edge, and, and take it for a big touchdown. 75 yards. Elijah Grady had a key block. The right tackle for North Dakota, the true freshman. Last week, 80-yard run. Gates in motion, jet sweep, Jay Sean Gates fumbles a football and Cole Reyes has recovered. And North Dakota on the first play of the second half has forced its third turnover of the game. For North Dakota, green pants, green jerseys. First time we've ever seen that as it's being billed green on day. Another trick play back to Pruka oh. and it's over his outstretched right arm. That was Greibel who threw the touchdown pass in the first half. Yeah, it looked like the same thing. I tell you what, Dan, there is nothing but green grass up here if, if this is a thrown ball that Prukop can catch. I mean, there's nobody here for North Dakota. Down to three. As the player gets out, Prukop will carry. Prukop in for the touchdown. Dakota Prukop. Gets to the touchdown and my single game regular season record by a freshman. Oliveira in the open field. Brady Oliveira. Can he get to the end zone? No, he's tripped up inside the 15 yard line, but another big explosive play out of the North Dakota run game. 131. Studs Rude to Clive Georges. Catches it. Georges makes one man miss. Look at Clyde go to the end zone. Touchdown. Boy, we have not seen that, but Clive literally stops on the dime right there and then outruns three defenders in for a touchdown. I mean, this is remarkable. For a guy to stop completely like that, I mean, that's like, that's like a Reggie Bush move right there. Watch him catch this ball, completely stop, right? Now, watch him outrun three defenders to go into the... This is what North Dakota thought they were getting with this guy, and now that he's healthy... Fourth down and converted. Bruka cradles the football, and Sandlin, the tight end, has the catch and the first down. As Bo Sandlin... Don't forget you get your jersey pulled on from behind the end zone there. So here we go, just shy of the end zone again. Brew Cup, no, and guess who? It's Mr. Rattel again. Tell you what, Will, Will Rattel's a man on a mission right now. He's doing everything he can to keep them up. Watch this, come straight down. I'll tell you what, that's just heart and desire right there. Will Rattel, that's unbelievable defense. Nine solo tackles on the day for Will Rattel, and he has single-handedly kept Montana State out of the end zone on back-to-back -back plays. So here's fourth and goal. Early stages of the fourth quarter, a one-touchdown lead for North Dakota. Bruka rolling out, looking to the end zone, caught, touchdown, Sandlin. Third today in the second offensive series of the game for North Dakota, which faces third down and eight here. Look out on the backside, Studgerud fumbles. Montana State has recovered the football. DeMonte King, the... Gates in motion, the fake, the jet sweep. Brook up, looking to the end zone. Noah Johnson is there, and Johnson sacks him, and he fumbles the football. And there's a scrum for it out at the 26-yard line. Who's on the bottom of the pile?
Well, it looked like a North Dakota player, Nick Schmitz, was on the bottom of the pile. And we're not sure who has the ball right now. There's a discussion going on. And I think a flag was thrown too, Dan. I... Schmitz has clearly recovered right there. The play has been changed. The ball was fumbled with an immediate recovery by number 90 of the defense. It'll be first and 10, North Dakota at the 26-yard line. Please set the game clock to 7-4-9, 7-4-9. That's why you have replay, reviews, and coaches' challenges. I, I couldn't agree with you more. You, you take time, you look at the play, you get it right, and now the game's not, not impacted by that because you got the call right. One last look. Brukup stripped of the football as Noah Johnson was applying pressure and Nick Schmitz is right there for the clear recovery to take it to the 47 to get a first down. Studswood looking for Stanley or Seibel. Seibel catches it. He's got the first down. He fumbled the football and it's still loose and the Bobcats have it. Seibel reach up top or over top of his face mask. Brady Oliveira tries to bounce it outside. Oliveira's got room to the 20, to the 15, the 10. Oliveira! Out of bounds at the four yard line. 163 yards rushing. Santiago looking for the pylon. Santiago's got it. Yes! Touchdown, North Dakota. John Santiago. Fourth and three. Who cut? Telling Justin Page to back off the line a bit. Bruka in the pocket. Knocked down! The pass is knocked down by Jake Disterhoff. The North Dakota linebacker makes the biggest play of the game with 22 seconds remaining will tick away and North Dakota in untypical North Dakota fashion having to outscore the opponent today does so to defeat Montana State 44-38. There's been a lot of games this year, Dan, where North Dakota's been leading in the fourth quarter and haven't been a way, found a way to win the game. Today they found a way.